Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm gonna to talk about Squarespace Forms. There have been some massive updates with this side of Squarespace, this Squarespace block, that has really been an exceptional addition to their platform. So I'm gonna walk through a few things for you now that you need to know about, from new ways to style the forms, new settings in the forms, and some backend features that you may not know you have with forms. Let's get into it. So the first thing I'm gonna do here on my demo website is go to the page, my contact page that has a form already built on it. And then I'm gonna go into the editor and then I will double click on the form. Once I'm in here, let's take a look at a few new features that they offer. First, we're gonna to go to design. This is a whole new kind of experience that you can work with. First, there's form style. So if we click on this, there's gonna be some built-in form styles that you can use natively. As you can see here, there's three, and then four different styles built in. And then you also have the option to further adjust those styles even more. So if I hit edit form styles, I can click on that. And then you'll see here, you have this whole new section of your site styles that you can design and customize. So when you come in here, you're gonna see there's a few options, field shape, do you want it as a pill? Do you want it with rounded corners? Or do you just want it regular rectangle? You could also customize it as well, which is really cool. So if you wanna do something like this, where here we have five across all of them. If I did, let's say 40 here, and then 40 here, it could look something like that. It's very unique, it could fit a brand in a specific way, be really cool. For now, I'm just gonna keep it like this and we'll go back. Uh, then we have field fill. So here, do you want it filled in or not? And then if so, kind of what experience do you want for each one? For each form field, do you want the line to be thin or thick? Then from there, you could get into padding. And as you can see here, as you customize it, you can easily make decisions on what you like, don't like, all of that. So here, we're just gonna keep it to M for medium and be good to go. Then you have some additional options to go even deeper into this. Field options, if you click on this, you could adjust the checkbox, the look and feel of that. There's a lot here, right? The radio, the look and feel of that. I don't have it on the page right now, so we wouldn't be able to see the edits, but you could easily come in here and customize every single aspect of the form. And what's really cool is that this is built in, as I mentioned earlier, to your site style. So when you customize the form, this is gonna be across your whole site, the different forms that you wanna use and styles you wanna use. So it comes with four different styles pre-built, but you could come in here and switch the original style to any of these four, and then you'll be able to use those across your site. So if you want one main form, uh, style and then you want a secondary form style and a third and a fourth you can do that really a lot of options here for you to use uh, We could go into font and adjust the font Title description caption input placeholder uh, Select drop down option survey title all the options are here then from there We have colors how you want to customize the colors right now. Yeah, we have this field background of this like gray which is our brand color but maybe it's too for me it's a little bit too dark so maybe i go somewhere around here or go to the actual color palette and get a color i actually like that i want to use here um, instead all right so you have a lot of options with colors and then form spacing you can make some more adjustments with the actual form spacing you now have full control you used to have to customize this you have full control to make edits and customize the look and feel of a form on your site natively with ease which is really cool. So let's go back to the form editor. I'm gonna get out of this and then go into the editor here. Now let's go back to design. There's a few other things you can do here as well. The button style, you could customize this with any of the custom button styles you have from primary, secondary, and uh, Tetra. And then from there, you have the ability to move the button as you like. If you want it to go against the whole form, you could do that. You can make it a light box. You can set a background color for it. The light box basically makes it a button so they can click on it and it opens as like, a, uh, yeah, a light box on your site. Or uh, you can set a background on it here. So if you want it to stand out a little bit as well, you can do that. All right, so from there, let's take a look at the actual form field. So if I go to edit form fields, this is a new thing that they've added that is really cool. If you go to email and then you come down here, they have this new email sign up. And just like that, you've been able to add a feature that it will automatically add it to your profiles. 
Now, this is really user-friendly, really easy to set up. Now, some other things you may know or may not know, let's talk about storage. This really, uh, I think, throws people off at times. And so let's take a look at the options here. Because Squarespace now offers this way for you to see all form submissions on the back end of your site, that's the next thing we're gonna look at. They they have structured this in a really interesting way. It gives you a lot of options, but let's take a look at all of them. So for email notifications, if you want it to go to an email, you can. It can only go to one email, so you can't set up 10 emails, but you can send it to one email. So here you could add that email in and be good to go. From there, they have this additional storage option. I usually recommend this for clients. Now that the managed subscription or submissions is here, it's kind of redundant, but I'll still explain it for you now. So additional storage. So you could add this in where you could link it to MailChimp, Zapier, or a Google Sheet. I always recommend to all my clients to set it up with a Google Sheet. The Google Sheet just lives in the background, never takes up space, never does anything. It's just a backup. And so you could connect it, create a Google Sheet, add it to the Google Sheet, be good to go. And that way you could have it go to your email, you could have it go to a Google Sheet as well. If you do wanna connect Zapier, you can use a Google Sheet and do it directly from there instead of having to do it for every individual form. So if you have 10 forms on your website, connect all those 10 forms to Google Sheets and then have those Google Sheets go to Zapier. It's a much simpler process, much smoother process um, overall because you could send it all to one Google Sheet and then send it to Zapier. But let's talk about managed submissions. Let's click into that. So it just opened up a new tab. On the back end of your site, this is my demo site, right? On the back end here, you have, <laughs> I love this name, form submitters. So here, anytime someone fills out a form, all the things that they filled out will be available to you on the back end. So you'll get an email, it'll be on the back end of your site. This is really cool because if you do start to have submissions and you wanna send them invoices and things like that, you could import that information from here to the invoice. So let me show you kind of what that can look like. So if I go to selling and then I go to invoicing, here, there's this new feature where you connect the payment processor and then you could create an invoice and it says add new client. Here, in this case, if they filled out a form, they could potentially be here on this list already. So it gives you this really cool, new intuitive experience for anyone who fills out a form. They could easily sign up for your newsletter. And at the same time, if they do become a client, you could easily send them an invoice as well through Squarespace, doing it all through Squarespace. So there's a lot of potential and a lot of power with forms that they've added over the last few months to make this experience really exceptional. I'm gonna show you an example now of what I just spoke through, uh, and we're going to give it a test run. So I'm just gonna fill out the form really simply. I am going to drop my email in. I'm gonna sign up and then I'm gonna do, and then hit submit. So we've just submitted that form. It's gonna show up in my email. If I connected a Google Sheet, it would show up there as well. But now we're gonna go here to form submitters in our contacts and I'll refresh this page and boom, just like that, you see the form submitter. If I click on it, it shows all the information. It shows the specific form and all the information there with the form. Now you can see this, it says create project. So I can click on that. It'll create a project for this specific person. Uh, and as you can see here, uh, under invoicing, I have this project created. So I could come here, do new invoice or project, or I can click into this. And then from here, do create invoice. And again, all this information is already saved. So just like that, the name, the email, the info, everything is there. And then you could start to add line items. Uh, these could be products from your store or specific services you're offering um, or services in your store as well. Uh, and then here you could create this whole system set up and then be able to send it to your client really, really cool features here that they've added that I love. There's a lot of power and potential as you design this and as you build your site. The final thing I'll say that will really benefit you as you go through this process is this. Uh, I'm gonna go into the editor and then here, let's say I really love this section or I've already spent a lot of time building this form because it does take a bit of time to build a form the way you like. Once you get it built, you can easily duplicate it through your site. So if you click on it, and do command C or just basically copy it. You can copy it and then paste it in other areas of your site. But alternatively, and the way I wanna recommend is that you can also go in here and then hit this little heart. 
If you don't know what this is, I have video content on this, so you should definitely check it out. So once you've done that, you can easily just scroll to any page on your site, any section and hit add section. And then you're gonna have this option for save section. And as you can see here, it's here. So everything we've designed and formatted is already ready for us so that we could easily duplicate it throughout our site and have it throughout our website. Then from here, if I'm like, well, I, I don't necessarily need this info on this page, I can get rid of that. I could end up centering the form and I'll be good to go. The only thing you wanna double check in on is this, you wanna change the form name. You'll see it says new form 22, we wanna change that. Um, and then you wanna double check all the storage settings that you set up. You'll need to reconnect Google, like a Google sheet, uh, make sure the email's correct and all of that um, to make sure that this works properly from the start. And that is an overview of Squarespace Forms, the new features and the updates on the platform. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments below. And if you wanna learn more about mastering Squarespace, I do have a video on save sections that you definitely need to watch that you'll either see up here or down in the description. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.